Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman, and I invite you to roll out your mat for this replay of my live yoga class, a part of the Vin Yin November series. So we'll be starting out our practice with some vinyasa flow to get the energy moving, get you warmed up, and then we'll cycle down into a nice deep stretch to help you relax. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to flow. All right, so we'll begin in a comfortable seat, just taking these first few moments to get grounded and centered. So just letting yourself settle in. Support yourself in this seat. If you want a cushion or a blanket, just make yourself comfy so that you can drop into your body and feel relaxed. And so you can start to close your eyes and tune out the external stimuli and start to focus your awareness inward. And notice the flow of your breathing. Enjoying that rhythmic inhale and exhale. And as you settle into the breath, begin to notice how you're feeling in your body. Just noticing what areas might feel tight or stuck or stiff. And see if you can send your breath to those places. And as your body begins to relax, become aware of what emotions are present for you today. What are you coming to the mat with? How are you feeling in your heart? And if there's anywhere that you notice tension or discomfort, send your breath to those feelings. Gently bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart, joining together your right and your left, your light and your dark, your masculine and your feminine. In this gesture of wholeness, breathe into a loving acceptance of all that you are, the fullness of who you are. And then turn your palms flat against your chest. We'll just start with some easy head rolls, spiraling your head around you can use your hands to kind of anchor through your chest. So the head is spiraling around and you can move at your own pace, going as fast or as slow as it feels good to you. And when you're ready, we'll begin to reverse direction, spiraling the head the other way.
Let your breath be slow and steady. Just exploring that range of motion. Then gently fold your chin down to your chest. And as you do, I want you to use your hands and like traction your hands down. So it's like just gently pressing down on your sternum as you fold your chin to your chest. And see if that increases your stretch sensation. And feel free to adjust the placement of your head. Just kind of exploring around. Find a good stretch here. Then gently lift your head back up to center. Still with a nice grounding pressure through your sternum, begin to lift your chin towards the sky. So it's, think about stretching your chin upward. So it's not so much about folding your head back, but rather lifting and lengthening through the front of your neck. Then gently return to center and just relax here with your hands on your heart. Feel the warmth of your palms permeating into your chest. Feel your breath moving in and out. Nice. Then glide your, your hands out to your shoulders. So we're just going to start with a little movement here to get the energy churning. So we'll inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Okay, so getting into a nice rhythm, moving from side to side. So again, you can find your own pace. <sighs> Inhale left, exhale right. So just lifting tall through your spine. You can let your head go with you as you rotate from side to side. And you can also close your eyes if that helps. So just rocking back and forth, twisting through your upper back your chest, your shoulders, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out. Just a few more rounds. Then gently make your way back to center. Relax your hands down. Take a big deep breath in. Hold the breath at the top. Hug your belly in. Lift your pelvic floor. Lift up through your sternum and up through the top of your head. And then exhale. Let the breath go. All right, then bring your hands back onto your shoulders. Gently press down on your shoulders. So stretching your shoulders down away from your ears. Then simultaneously lift up on your head. So you could almost imagine if somebody was like grabbing your head and pulling it upward. That's the sensation. So we press the shoulders down, lift up through the base of the skull, extending all the way up through the crown of your head. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, then gently lower your right ear to your right shoulder. Still a gentle pressure on the left shoulder, feeling into that stretch along the neck. Breathing in here. Exhale and soften into the stretch. Then float your head back up to center and lower your left ear to your left shoulder. Still pressing down gently on the tops of the shoulders as you lean your head to the left, breathing into that stretch along your neck. So enjoy the sensation. Feel into it. Taking those deep, nourishing breaths. And gently float your head back on top and we'll release your hands down into your lap. Then let's just take some seated cat and cow. So as you inhale your breath, you'll lift up your chest, roll your shoulders back. Then exhale and curl it in, tucking everything into center. Stretch your spine. So moving at your own pace, 
Finding your flow, we inhale to open and exhale to close. Just feeling into your body. So let this be your time to enjoy and savor the sensation. And if there's a moment that feels extra yummy, feel free to stay there for a minute. Enjoy it, stretch it out. And we'll slowly start to make your way back to center, sitting up nice and tall. Then let's go ahead and transition into your tabletop positions, making your way onto your hands and knees. You can use a blanket or a cushion under your knees to give you some added support if you so desire. And we're just gonna start to circulate the spine, rolling your spine around in one direction. See if you can really explore the full range of motion of your spine. So just making nice big circles. Again, you can move at your own pace. And there's no real right or wrong way to do this. This is really just your own exploration. And when you're ready, we'll start to reverse, circling your ribs in the opposite direction. Now it can feel a little awkward to reset and start going the other way. Just let yourself work through that process and start to find a new rhythm. Breathing your breath as you flow through this movement. And then we'll slowly begin to resolve, making your way back to center. All right, then we're gonna walk your hands out, soften your heart down, coming into a little puppy pose. So the hips are stacked over the knees as you reach your fingertips forward and open through your chest and shoulders. So it's a big stretch here. Take those slow, deep breaths that help you to soften. See if you can tune in and feel the space behind your heart, between the shoulder blades. See if you can feel that part of your back softening and releasing that tension between the shoulders. Then gently walk your hands back in, pressing yourself up into your tabletop. We'll take a good twist. So open your right fingertips to the sky, taking a nice big deep breath in. Then as you exhale, you'll weave that right arm under, bringing your shoulder all the way down to the floor. Then press your left hand into the mat to help you roll your left shoulder back and get a deeper rotation in your spine. So just find that good maximum twist that feels so good to your spine. Reach your right fingertips across leaning into the stretch behind your right shoulder. Then we'll slowly rise and press yourself all the way back up. Inhale your breath as you reach your right hand high. Then exhale and slowly release your right hand back down to the mat. Then again, we'll inhale and open. Left arm reaches high, stretching through your side body. Then exhale and weave the left arm under, bringing your shoulder all the way down. Then press your right hand into the mat, rotating the right shoulder back. So we're working into a deeper rotation, finding that maximum stretch in the spine. So you can reach the left fingertips even further across and find even more stretch behind your left shoulder blade. So really let yourself lean in here, find the edge, then we'll inhale and open. Left arm reaches all the way back up to the sky, twisting the heart open. 
And then exhale and gently release your right hand and the left hand down. You got it. <laughs> then we'll tuck the toes under and press yourself up towards down dog. Start to pedal out your feet here, just walking your dog, bending one knee and then the other, gently stretching into the backs of your legs. So just feeling that good lengthening in the calves and the attachments around your knees. Yeah, feeling the legs start to open. Then we'll gently reach both heels down towards the earth as you reach your tailbone up and back. So feel a lengthening along your side body, an opening through your chest and shoulders. Take a deep, full breath in. Then exhale completely right here in your pose. Then start to walk your feet forward towards the front of your mat. Making your way towards forward fold, you can begin to shift your weight side to side, bending into one knee and then the other. Sway your torso from right to left. Just give yourself some room to play here, exploring around in your forward fold awakening the awareness of your body so it's a discovery what's happening what's present for me now and gently make your way back to center and we're going to move into ragdoll just grabbing opposite elbows as you let your head relax down between your arms if you want to have a little movement here, that's fine. Or you can just hang out in stillness. Wherever you are, really let yourself surrender to gravity here, feeling that stretch along your spine. Then we'll gently release your hands back down to the floor. Inhale to lift your spine halfway up, extending your heart forward, Hug your belly up and in, engaging the strength of your core. Bring your left hand right under your nose, bend into the left knee and twist your right fingertips back up to the sky. Pressing that right leg straight, try to lean your weight towards the right foot, deepening the stretch in your IT band. As you lengthen out your spine, see if you can rotate the shoulders around even more. Then we'll slowly float your right hand back down to the mat. Take a deep fold over your legs, just settling into this forward fold. Then again, we'll inhale to lift and extend through your spine. Really think about creating space between the vertebrae as you extend that energy out through the crown of your head. Then bring your right hand to center. Bend into that right knee as you twist and open your left fingertips to the sky. Yeah, so we lean your weight towards that left foot as you press the left leg as straight as you can. Really feel in that outer stretch. Then lengthen out through the crown of your head, extending through your spine. You may be able to roll the left shoulder open even more. Yes. Then slowly fold and release your left hand down, bowing forward over your legs. You can wiggle it out. <laughs> Enjoy. Ah. <sighs> Good, then let's inhale and lift to extend your spine halfway up. Big deep breath in as you reach your spine long. Then we'll exhale and just fold it right back down over your legs. Then go ahead and plant your hands onto your mat and we'll step your feet back, coming into your plank pose. And start to rock forward and back in your planks. So this is a good stretch for the wrists and hands. So just rocking front and back, front and back, front and back. 
Then shift your weight all the way to the front as best you can. Tone the strength of your legs, tone the strength of your core. Take a big inhale as you extend through the crown of your head. Then exhale, you can keep your knees lifted or lower them down, but we're gonna slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Try and have as much control as you can, bringing the body down in one strong piece. All right, hug your legs together behind you, bringing the tops of your feet to the floor. Then roll the tops of your shoulders to the sky and take an inhale to peel your chest up away from the floor. Working that nice cobra pose, glide your shoulders down away from your ears. Then we'll slowly lower your heart back down to the floor. Then this time, Interlace your hands at the base of your spine. So we'll squeeze the palms of your hands together and begin to stretch your fists up towards the sky. Even if it's just a little, little bit, you do the best that you can. Then on your next inhale, we'll start to peel your heart up away from the floor stretching your hands in the direction of your heels. So we're reaching the hands back towards the feet, peeling your chest open, stretching through your shoulders. Take one more inhale here, lift as high as you can. Then we'll exhale and gently release back down. Relax your hands down. You can turn one cheek to the floor and just take a couple deep breaths here. Give yourself a moment to reset. Okay, then we're gonna press back into a little child's pose. So shifting your hips back to your heels let your forehead soften down to the mat and we'll take a couple good deep breaths here. All right, let's lift your gaze forward towards your hands and interlace your hands in front of you. Shift your weight forward onto your forearms, then tuck your toes under. And we're gonna lift the hips up for a dolphin pose. So as you reach your hips high, try to open your shoulders. You can think about bringing your head in between your biceps. So that's where you're really gonna get the shoulder stretch big time. Okay, then step your right foot on the midline. Then extend your left leg up, even if it's just a little bit. Reach it up as high as you comfortably can. Nice, good stretch. Good, then lower the left foot down. Okay, you'll step your right foot back open. Then step your left foot right down center, or your, yeah, right left foot in the middle. Then the right leg lifts. We got it. So kicking that right leg as high as you can. Then we'll gently release the right foot back down to the floor. You can step your left foot back to neutral and lower your knees to the mat. Sink your hips back to your heels. Relax your chest and shoulders. Hmm. All right, lift your gaze, reach your fingertips forward and make your way into your downward dog. Lifting your hips high, working your way into your pose. Take some deep breaths as you arrive. Then we'll inhale to lift your right leg high extending your heel as high as you comfortably can. Then we'll step your right foot forward into a lunge. 
Now, if it doesn't make it all the way forward, you can help it out. Just taking your time to set yourself up in a nice, good lunge, okay? Set yourself up for success. Then work your way up into a high lunge. So we're gonna lift the arms, lift through the chest, tone the strength of your legs as you hug your belly in and grow tall. Take a deep inhale as you reach your fingertips high. Then as you exhale, let's twist your heart open towards the right, extending your arms out towards the side. Then we'll inhale back to center. And as you exhale, spin the left heel down and open to warrior two. We'll take a full round of breath in your warrior pose. Lunge deep into that right leg. Really trust yourself. Lift up out of your waist, feeling your body strong. Then flip your right palm to the sky. We're gonna reach up and back, reversing that pose. Then as you exhale, we're gonna spiral the right hand down to the floor and extend your left arm up towards the sky. So we're coming into side angle pose. Try to roll the left shoulder back, spiraling your heart open, then extend your fingertips from there. Nice work, everyone. Plant your right hand down. I'm gonna give you a challenge for today, okay? You're gonna hang in there with me? Let's do it together. Push against the mat with your right hand. You can start to walk the right foot back towards the left leg, making your way into a side plank. Super strong, yay! Okay, you can bring both hands down and we're gonna meet in plank pose, okay? So we'll all come back to plank. And then inhale to shift your heart forward. Then exhale to lower, knees up or knees down. You make your way there with control, coming all the way down to the floor. Turn the tops of your feet to the mat, then roll your shoulders up and back as you inhale and curl your chest away from the floor. As you exhale, press back into your down dog and take some deep breaths here. If you want to rest in child's pose, you most certainly can, or you can hang out in this down dog. When you're ready, we'll come back into our tripod, extending the left leg up towards the sky. So leading with your breath, we take an inhale to float the left leg up. Then your exhale will move you towards your lunge. Set yourself up for success, taking the necessary time necessary adjustments. Then trusting in the strength of your legs, we're gonna come all the way up into your high lunge. Reaching both arms up, hug your belly in as you lift away from the earth, lunging strong and deep with the legs. Take a big deep breath in. Then exhale to twist, opening it towards the left. We'll extend through the arms. Try not to give up the back leg, toning the legs here. Let's inhale back to center. Then exhale and open into your warrior two. So we spin the right heel down as you open through your hips and your shoulders. Taking a full round of breath in your warrior pose, the mind gets tired. The mind says, I can't do it. I want to give up. But you trust in the strength of your body and it's got you. Flip your left palm to the sky. Let's reach up and back, reversing that warrior. Stretch the left side body open. Then we'll circle your left hand all the way down 
and open your fingers, your right fingers to the sky. Side angle pose. So you can stay right here. This is a great option. If you want to play around with the side plank, plus place your left hand to the floor and start to work your left foot back towards the right, coming into that nice strong side plank. Then we'll all meet back in plank pose. We'll take one more vinyasa. Inhale to shift your heart forward. Exhale to lower all the way to the mat. Turn the tops of your feet to the floor. Roll the tops of your shoulders to the sky as you inhale, curling your heart up. Then we'll exhale and press yourself back. Coming back to that down dog, take some deep breaths here or in your child's pose. All right, my friends, let's make your way forward back to the front of your mat. You can walk your feet there. You can take one giant step. You could take a hop if you want. However you choose to find your way into that forward fold, just let your body fold deep. Relax the back of your neck and your head. Just taking some nice full breaths here. Now, I want to just get a little pretzely with you guys. So we're going to separate the feet a little wider apart. You don't have to go to the edges of your mat necessarily, but you just want to open your feet wider than your hips. Okay, then we're going to bend into your knees, just like take a nice generous bend into your legs. Then you're going to reach your right hand between your legs towards the back of your mat. Okay, then here's what's gonna happen. Circle your left arm up and around behind your back, and then see if you can reach your right hand under your right arm or under your right leg and take a hold of your hands behind your back, okay? Once you have that bind, start to straighten through your legs, pressing especially into that right shoulder, into that right arm, okay? If your neck and shoulders are tight, we just rip it right off. <laughs> okay, stretch, 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 you got it. One, two, three, four, five. Bend into your knees, gently release your hands back down, fold back to center. You can shift side to side or wiggle it out. Woo, anything that feels good. Take care of you. Ah, yes, okay, then we're gonna try that on the second side and just see how it goes, okay? So, you're gonna reach your left hand towards the back of your mat, reaching between your two legs. Then just take a nice, deep, generous bend into your knees and circle your right arm up and around towards your low back. Okay, then we're gonna reach the left hand under the left leg and see if you can grab a hold of your hands. Now, if you bend your knees, you should be able to get the hands or pretty close. Once you have the bind, then we start to straighten into the legs and that's when the stretch really starts to happen. So breathe into this. Nothing lasts forever. See what you can take from it. Ah, then we'll gently release back to center. So bending into your knees, let go of the bind, folding back over your legs. You can shake it out a little bit. Then go ahead and sink your hips all the way down to the floor. 
wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a hug. Take a couple deep breaths here. And then open your knees out towards the sides, bringing the soles of your feet together. I'm going to do some stretch for the low back and hips here. So holding on to your ankles, lift up through your chest, roll your shoulders down your back and extend up through the crown of your head. You can even lift your belly up and in here, feeling some strength in your core. We'll take a deep inhale and extend up through the crown of your head. Then as you exhale, lean into the stretch, keeping your spine long. Then again, we'll inhale here, extending even more out of the spine. Then exhale to fold as far as you comfortably can fold letting your neck and shoulders relax. Breathing slow and deep. Let each exhale guide you into a deeper stretch. Relaxing any tension along the back of your neck. Let the shoulders soften down towards the floor. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into your low back. Let yourself explore this space. One breath at a time. The more you can breathe deeply, the more your body gets the message that it's okay to let go. It's okay to relax. Give your body permission to release the tension. Slowly start to walk your hands in and press yourself all the way back up to center. Just take a full round of breath, sitting upright, letting your body recalibrate. And then fold your chin down to your chest and bring your hands behind your head. Let your elbows relax down towards the floor, allowing the weight of your arms to gently press along the back of your head so that you feel a stretch at the back of your neck and maybe even moving down between your shoulders. So we wanna keep sitting up as tall as you can and it's really just the head that's folding forward right now. We're going to breathe into the neck here and you can adjust, you can bring in a little micro movement and kind of explore where the stretch feels the best. And then from here, we're going to just softly, uh, like, I kind of think it's like a surrender in the chest. So you just let your shoulders kind of round forward just kind of giving in at the heart. And you'll start to feel the stretch moving deeper down between the shoulder blades. Then here we can even start to kind of soften through the rib cage even letting the shoulders round forward a little bit more. And the stretch moves even deeper down the spine. Now you may certainly come across some places in your back 
that don't want to stretch send your breath to those places go soft go easy on yourself feel what you feel allow for the stretch to happen taking a couple more rounds of breath here just giving yourself that permission to explore when you're ready you can release your hands and slowly start to roll your head back up to center nice and easy all right now let's step your right foot to the outside of your left leg we're just going to take a good twist for digestion if any of you have digestive troubles or struggles uh, twisting is really really good for that so we're going to wrap your left arm around your right knee and even take your right hand through and around to your left rib cage and just pull your left rib cage around if that makes sense so you're kind of using your hand to give you a, a, a self adjustment helping you rotate the ribs around then you can bring your left or your right hand down to the floor as you work your way deeper into this twist and again this is a really great place to just bring in a little micro movement little micro adjustments feeling what's going on in the spine you could play around with the placement of your head finding a stretch that feels good to your neck And slowly make your way back to center and we'll swing that right leg around behind you with a bent knee okay bring your left hand down to the floor and we're gonna carve the space and reach that right arm up and around like at a big diagonal so you push with the left hand to help you rotate around even further arcing the right fingertips up and back getting a nice open twist and slowly make your way back around to the front and extend your right leg out in front of you we're just going to go straight into the forward fold here so take an inhale to lift and extend through your spine and as you exhale go ahead and fold forward over that right leg just taking a nice deep stretch into the hamstring maybe working the attachments behind the knees you get even more stretch if you flex your toes back towards your torso right so we open through the sole of the foot increasing the stretch along the back chain take two more full rounds of breath right here full inhale full exhale and let that exhale take you a little deeper finding the edge and slowly roll yourself back up to center okay now we're gonna pick up your right foot wrap your left arm around your foot if it doesn't quite do that just hold your foot with your left hand okay so finding your uh, best positioning here and we're gonna cradle the right leg and just rock the baby nice good leg baby <laughs> just rocking right and left holding that right leg feeling that stretch into the hip okay then coming back to center hug your leg in lift up through your chest feeling a good stretch into the hip yes 
Then we'll gently release your right foot back down to the floor. You can just kind of relax for a moment. Ah, okay, then we'll set up for the twist on the second side. Stepping your left foot to the outside of your right leg. Then we want to wrap your arm around your left knee and we're going to take that left hand, reach around and grab your right ribs and pull your right ribs around. So you leverage yourself into a real good twist. Then you can place your left fingertips to the floor to give you even more leverage to get even deeper into the rotation. Okay, then play with your head. Where does it wanna be so that you get the best stretch possible? Breathe into that hugging everything in towards center. This is wringing out the digestive tract, cleansing and detoxifying. Nice, then slowly make your way back to front and swing that left leg around behind you. Okay, then place your right hand down to the floor. We're gonna take the left arm and carve the space, just gathering up all the energy around you, spiraling around towards the right side as you extend and reach your left fingertips up and back. Feeling that twist in the spine, feeling the opening through the front of your left hip. Breathe and twist. Then slowly open it back up towards the front. Then circle your left leg back around, extending your leg out in front of you. We'll take an inhale to lift and extend your spine long. Then exhale and make your way forward, folding down over that left leg. Notice what you feel from one side to the other. But send your breath there just the same. With each exhale, you invite your body into a deeper release, a deeper letting go. Relax the back of your neck. Relax your chest and shoulders. Relax your breathing. Let the stretch happen. Slowly make your way back up to center. Ah, then we'll take a hold of your left leg. Just pick it up. Then you can wrap your right arm around your foot or just hold your foot with your hand. Whatever works for your body is fine. Then we'll wrap the left arm around and just start to rock from side to side. So we allow the movement to facilitate the opening. Okay, then we'll come back to center. Hug that left leg in and lift up nice and tall, sitting up, extending through the crown of your head. Hug the left, left, left leg in and stretch. Ah, then we'll gently release. Left foot back down to the floor. Ah, just notice how you feel. All right. Now go ahead and make your way down onto your back. Hugging your knees into your chest. You can rock yourself side to side. Just kind of massaging your back along the floor.
enjoying the sensation. And then we're going to make our way into a happy baby. So reach your hands between your two knees, then we'll open the soles of your feet towards the sky. Stacking your ankles over your knees, use your hands to pull down against your feet and drive your knees down towards the earth. So this is what's going to give us that deep inner thigh stretch, stretching right into the hip socket itself. Then we can start to open your heels even wider apart and see how that changes the experience. It's okay if your legs don't straighten, they don't have to. You can just start kicking the heels wider and wider and just see how it feels. And slowly begin to return to center, hugging the knees back in. You can rock yourself side to side. Then lower your feet down to the floor, walking your heels in towards your sitting bones. We're going to move into a little bridge pose, just a little heart opener, strengthening through the back body. Extend your hands down alongside your body, then begin to stand into the strength of your legs and press your hips up away from the earth. Now lift your chin away from your chest, opening space at the front of your throat. Then lift up through your hips, strengthening through your legs, strengthening through your back. Find the tallest bridge that you can. Then we'll slowly release and roll your spine back down to the floor. Then hug your knees in again, wrap your arms around your shins, curl your head in towards your knees and just give yourself a good squeeze. And slowly lower back down to the floor. And we're just gonna lower both knees over to the left side. We're coming into a reclining twist. You can relax right here if it helps. You can bring your left hand onto your right knee to give you an extra sense of grounding. And I'm going to give you another option here in this twist. If you'd like to extend the right leg, you can reach down with your left hand and take a hold of the top, or, yeah, take a hold of the right foot and that accentuates the stretch, that accentuates the twist with a deeper stretch down the length of the leg. Then you could also fold the left knee back and reach down with your right hand to grab a hold of the top of the left foot and open through the top of the left thigh. So these are just options available to you. This is really just about you like relaxing and unwinding. So just do what feels like really satisfying and good. Then we'll slowly begin to make your way back to center. And then we'll lower both knees to the right. So you can bring your right hand on top of your left knee and feel free to just stay right here. This is an excellent stretch, nice and gentle, very relaxing, feels good. So if this is where you're at today, enjoy. If you would enjoy getting a little bit more you can extend the left leg out 
and grab a hold of your foot with your right hand, giving you that extra stretch across the outside of the left leg. You could stay right here if this is the money spot. Another option would be to open the right knee back and take a hold of the top of that right foot with your left hand. It's completely, completely up to you to decide whatever you want for yourself today. And we'll slowly make your way back to center, hugging both knees in. You can rock yourself side to side again if that feels good. We're gonna begin to extend your legs out in front of you. And just start to settle into your relaxation pose. So just make whatever little adjustments you need to help yourself relax and feel comfortable on your mat. And just starting with your feet and your toes, just relax every muscle of your body, just scanning from the bottom to the top, relaxing your feet and your ankles your shins and your calves. Relax your knees and your thighs and your hips. Feeling the weight of your pelvis sinking into the earth. Let your belly rise and fall. as you feel your shoulders draping down towards the floor. Relax your arms, relax your hands and your fingers. Relax your chest, your neck and your throat. Relax your jaw and your forehead and your scalp. Feel yourself completely let go into stillness and relaxation. And take a full, deep breath all the way in and all the way out. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. 
gently reawakening your body, bringing in more movement. And when you're ready, you can extend your arms over your head and just take a good full body stretch. Then roll yourself over to the side and press yourself up into a seat. So just coming to a nice, easy seat. You can close your eyes here and just let yourself stay present. Like being born into a new moment. Feeling your breath. And feeling your energy as it moves in your body. savoring this moment of stillness, peace, and ease. And slowly bring your hands to prayer position bowing your head to the light of your own being, acknowledging the fullness of who you are. Breathe love into that space, feeling appreciation for your body and for your life. and for the challenges that help you grow and evolve into your best self. And thank you for allowing me to guide you and thanks for hanging out with me a little over time, but I'm so grateful to spend this time in practice with you and I Hope that you can take this with you into your day. So until next time, namaste.